Welcome to Click with JFCS. I'm Galia Godel, the Program Manager of the LGBTQ Initiative. One of the projects that I get to run through my work at JFCS is a weekly support group for older LGBTQ adults. It's especially rewarding to connect with this group of older adults and talk about things like community building and concerns about the pandemic and fears from politics and all of the connections that they want to be making with each other. It's especially important because older LGBTQ adults are at an increased risk of isolation as they grow older. Of course, there are all of the worries that older adults have in general, but those who identify as LGBTQ have an added set of concerns. A lot of folks are perhaps not connected with their families of origin and may not have as many people that they can connect with as they grow older. Many older LGBTQ adults who are in partnerships weren't able to get married earlier in their lives, so they have lower income at this point or lower financial power or may not be able to have their partners by them while they're discussing end of life care. A lot of retirement communities and assisted living facilities are staffed by people who don't support LGBTQ individuals. So folks who might otherwise be out and proud about their sexual orientation or their gender identity have to go back into the closet when they end up in assisted living facilities that provide the support that they need as they grow older. It's especially important to make sure that you are creating community and connections with LGBTQ older adults. So if you have someone in your life who identifies as LGBTQ and is older and is looking for a community or connection, make sure that you reach out to them and connect with them. Show them that they are an important part of your community and that you're looking forward to knowing them and being close to them for as long as you possibly can. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a great day.